As we get ready to send our children back to school, safety is top of mind for many people. Of course, and a key factor in any crisis situation is making sure there is an open line of communication mm -hmm. to be able to reach fellow staff members and first responders. News Channel 3's Marley Pinchock is giving us a look at how one school district in West Virginia has a system in place to reach this goal if this were to ever happen. I turn this on at 6.30 a.m. and then usually it's around 11 o'clock by the time I turn it off. Kim Cooper helps oversee safety and security at Cabell County Schools. If a crisis were to happen, Cooper says communication is key. And that's where this radio system comes into play, allowing staff at every school within the county to have a direct line of contact with 911 and first responders. Seconds count to be able to get the right uh, emergency organization into your building as quickly as possible, whether it be law enforcement, EMS, or fire. So how did you come up with this idea to implement this radio system within Cabell County Schools? Well, a few years ago, um, our schools, some of our schools didn't have uh, cell service. Mm. So that was where the, the, uh, the concept of it came up. And have recent school shootings or tragic incidents played a role in implementing this system as well? Well, research will show that one of the first things that goes down in a catastrophic event are cell towers and landlines. They get overloaded. So this is just another layer of security that we have. As It's a backup plan that we have that we can contact whomever we need to contact. Cooper says the school district maintains strong relationships with Homeland Security, 911, and first responders to make sure everyone is on the same page when it comes to protecting students and staff. With this added layer of protection within these radio systems, what would you tell parents to give them a, some peace of mind as they send their kiddos back to school? Well, the response time that we have with first responders is, is cut down immensely. During a catastrophic event, that's when seconds count. Preparing for situations Cooper hopes never happen. Always staying one step ahead to make sure safety remains top priority. In Cabell County, Marley Pinchuk, WSAZ News Channel 3. Cooper did say they've had these radios for a few years now, but they replaced them as needed. In addition to being able to reach first responders, they can also reach staff in every school across the county as well.